What's going on YouTube? Um, today I got the Glock 17 Gen 3. Always gotta make sure I ain't running in the head. Dry fire. So yeah, man, this is what came in the box. Seventeen round clips. These aren't the hollow tips. These are the gun range bullets. But this magazine has the hollow tips in it. As you can tell, it got the hollow tips. Yeah, this gun cost me around five hundred dollars. I got it from a pawn shop. Yeah, I bought accessories. I got a beam. Yeah. I went out and got a extended 33 clip magazine. You can see that. Uh, it says 30, but there's two up top that it doesn't account for. I filled this one up with straight hollows. And then I went out and also got a 24 round magazine. Yeah, both of these probably cost me, I think this was 40 and this one was 30. I might be wrong though. I gotta go check the receipts. So now we're gonna talk about the gun. Um, I actually went to the range like two weeks ago and shot it. Brand new, I shot it. Um, it shoots pretty well. The finger grooves kind of fits my hand, but I won't fit everybody's hand, you know? But I like how it has the little slot here so your thumb can slide in it. You know me, I got like big hands, but I think this is a decent size gun, nine millimeter. Yeah, it's a good size gun. I mean, it shoots sturdy. The recoil isn't too bad. Um, actually, this is my first gun that I bought. I had a Ruger, but that was my mom's, but I was using it because why not, you know? But it shoots pretty firm, sturdy. I haven't shot any of the hollow tips, but I went out, like I said, I went out and got the gun range bullets cheaper than the hollow tips. More of I'd rather use the gun range bullets than the hollow tips. But I got so many hollow tips because it was a box for eighty dollars. It was fifty self defense bullets and fifty gun range bullets. So I just loaded up all fifty. Oh, shit. I loaded up all fifty and um Put them in these two clips and also when i got the gun i bought another i bought a pack of hollow tip bullets you can see there just the look on the gun is pretty crazy to me i mean it's probably one of the most prettiest guns I've seen, and Glocks was a thing growing up, or well, where I'm from, man. Bad environment and shit like that. But Glocks were the thing. I always seen people have them and shit. But I don't know. Hopefully, I can show y'all video of me shooting this at the gun range. But now, nah. so this the beam. How I put it on is damn near impossible. So it's like a little screw here, but it has some blocking it. So like, I don't know if I can see it. It has some blocking it, so I had to put it on, screw it in, cause it was like a little slot there. So I could just throw it on there. But overall, this is a good gun. I'll recommend the Glock 17 Gen 3. Everybody want a Gen 4, but I got a Gen 3. I like the Gen 3 better, cause of the finger grooves that came with it. I like that better. Then for the trigger, it has a safety pin. 
So you won't be able to pull it without pushing the pin down. Just trying with all my force. Now if I push the pin down, Overall, we recommend a Glock 17 Gen 3 as your first gun. I like it, shoots good and everything. So, show you how I stack the box, though. I fit all these clips in it, so. It's not supposed to have them all in there. I make them all fit. Yeah.